Welcome, today I'm going to show you how I made this sifting dump cart and how it works. So I've got these big piles. <laughs> I've got a few of those. I've got um, uh, two big piles like that actually and then I had a smaller one and just through the construction process getting everything moved around I've got a lot of dirt with a little bit of rocks. So I'm going to show you how I'm separating those, what I did, what I made um, for that to go with my gorilla cart. It's actually right here and I'll walk you over there and show it to you right now. This was just made from scraps of wood that I had laying around. The sifter top comes off and goes right back on easily. And here it is. This is what you call hardware cloth. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you want. It has half inch holes, meaning anything smaller than half inch is going to fall through. This works great for me because my lava rock, gravels, whatever it is, will stay up top and the dirt will fall. I attached it with some heavy duty staples using a hammer. I could have used my air gun and pff, 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 went right through there, but I wanted to go ahead and do something that would be a little bit stronger. It probably took me like 20 minutes, no big deal. I folded it over the edges on each side and I just got really lucky that it was the right width. I didn't even measure it. Um, now I can just shovel dirt right on it and sift it through and then I can dump rocks. The frame also comes off just like I showed you so that I can more easily dump the dirt. It's a pretty nifty little setup. If I were to do it again, I would try to get these to line up a little bit better, but it's really not that bad. There are eight little, um, these are, I believe, one by two boards, and then I can just pop that back in and put the sifter back on and be ready to go. Now I'm going to show you what comes through, what it looks like. So this is what actually comes through. It's a powdered dirt and some small little rocks, lava rocks. I'm going to use this to fill my... Um, elevated garden boxes that I'm going to build. Yeah, I'm losing a little bit of lava rock, but not a big deal. I'm not sure how this slightly bigger piece went through, but anyways, so yeah, you can see I've got just a big pile of dirt and rock. I'm going to sift it through and show you how that works as well. And it's not in its final resting place, but just um, close to where I'm going to use it. Out of the way. Nice dump. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. There we go. 
show. That's one of the reasons why I love this cart so much. I'll post the links down in the description, but man, superior in every way, in every situation that I can think of to a wheelbarrow. Here's another one of my rock piles with dirt that I'm going to sift through. I've got a project going on. I'm putting grow boxes all along this back fence row, but i got to get this fence all tuned up. We had put in a couple of posts um, crooked, so I had to dig those out this morning and get those put back in. So I'm going to fix those first, sift through all this stuff, and then... That quick setting concrete, it says you can put a strain on it in four hours, so just a couple more hours and I'll be able to start moving all this stuff in preparation to weld up the garden boxes. Now one of my neighbors swears up and down to use a cement mixer, much like this one or the one you get at Harbor Freight. You can uh, shovel all your dirt and rocks in there and then put water in, tumble them, and then separate your dirt and rocks that way. But I don't like that idea because I'm trying to use this dirt and I don't want it to turn into a big, soupy, muddy mess. So you could do that if you want. They loved that method. Well, they also wanted to clean their rocks. Mine, these lava rocks, I don't really care. They're a little bit dusty. When the rain hits them, it's going to wash them right off. So alternative method right there. And as always, if you like this video, uh, please give me a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you wish. I'll take whatever I can get. I'm always working on something random. I don't always <laughs> start and finish a project all at once, but I do like to record some of the things I'm working on. If nothing else, for down the road, I need to be able to remember how to do something <laughs> that I did. Well, anyways, uh, feel free to join me in all the shenanigans. Till next time.